Yes, hello everyone. Once again, John CG is here. <clears throat> here is the new tutorial that we will cover today. We will convert this character into meta human character rig. I will walk you through why we're using this new tool for a one year license. How about that? There are a lot of new tools available, to convert your meta human, but this one is more interesting. Let's dive in and explore what makes this tool unique. Mostly, your character model is in different poses, and you convert your character into a metahuman. In that case, your model needs to be on metahuman pose as much as possible to achieve good deformation on the legs, arms, and most especially on fingers, as you can see here in this image. Your metahuman base needs to wrap around your high poly model, and once it's done, you need to bring it back to a metahuman pose. How prostrating is that? Well, in this tutorial, you don't need to do it. Once you install the tool on your shelf, you will see a new tool called 2D Nax installed. Click it, then under the Shape Modeling tab, choose Character Editor. We need to set up our projects first. Under Project Setup, type your project name and name your character. Tick the Blend Shape Only as your choice and click the Setup button. Now. You are all set. On the Character Prepare tab, this is where it all happened. Here's the step you need to follow for number two. You need all these meshes in order to use this tool. Once you have placed all the meshes needed in the proper location, you're good to go. Let's prepare the body first. Click the Body Prepare button and a dialog pops up and asks you to select the project and character. On here, click this button to select your project and your character name appears. Click the Body Prepare tab again and choose Mail as the DNA file. This will take some time and wait for it. Now it's done with the body. As you can see, this is what I'm talking about, the poses. It respects my original base mesh pose. No need for us to pose it like metahuman poses. Look carefully at how the arm and legs are. It respects my default model pose most especially on the fingers. How cool is that? Now, <clears throat> let's save the body. After saving it, click Mail as your DNA file and press the Editing Mode button. This will take some time and wait for it. Now, as you can see, our character is rigged. Press the Prepare Character button and this will bring us to the Edit screen for all our blend shapes. Now press save the scene as his current state. On this tab, you can see all the blend shape that needs to be modified if needed. I will go through all in detail in another video. This is just a glimpse of how this tool works. Okay, let's fix some blend shapes and let me show you how to edit them. First things first, click the Setup button. Let's fix the jaw.open blend shape. Double click on the shape you want to edit, then click the Setup button. These two heads appear, and the middle head is the one we need to edit. If you play around with the time slider, you will see the blend shape behave. Make sure you are in frame 40, and then edit your blend shape according to your heart's content. Now, once your character is selected, go to the Modeling tab and select some brushes here. I will use the Grab brush here. This time, it's your artistic approach, fixing those awkward areas and seeing if there's any penetration. The best way is to have a reference for every pose you need to fix. Once it's done, apply the fixed shape to our main head rig. To do so, click the Transfer to Rig button. This will apply automatically to our main rig. Test the rig to see how it looks. This is how you do it for every shape you need to modify. To the best of my knowledge, this is powerful. I'm just scratching the surface of this tool. There is a lot more to learn about it.
Once all your corrections are done, it's time to export your character. Click the Export Character button. A dialog box appears. Select Mail and click the Prepare for Export button. This will take time. And then click the Export Character button. Do it after one another. Okay, we are now in Unreal Engine. I have already imported my MetaHuman character. Duplicate it and rename it whatever you want. Please create a new folder, name it, and move the duplicate character to the new folder. Open it by double-clicking on it. Select the groom assets and delete them. We don't need them in our case. Select LOD Sync, set forced LOD to zero, compile, and save. First, import the character that we exported from Maya. The files are located in your project folder, which you set up when you created your project. Select the head, and in the Import Content window, go to the Skeleton tab. Make sure to select Face Archetype underscore Skeleton, and ensure that the Import Morph Targets option is checked. Click the Import button. Do the same thing with the body. Instead of face underscore archetype underscore skeleton, choose meta human underscore base underscore skeleton. Click the import button, double click it on the head to open it. We need to adjust some settings here. Under post process anim blueprint, select face post process anim. Under Assets, User Data, add the MetaHuman DNA data. Just follow my settings here. And on the default MetaHuman rig, choose Face Control Board Rig. Then save the files. Please repeat the same steps for the body, opening it, and then select Medium Normal Animate BP Cinematics for the post-process anim blueprint. Under the default animation rig, choose Meta Human Control Rig, then save the files. Open the duplicated blueprint and change the head to our custom head. Do the same thing for the body. Okay, the moment of truth. Will these poses be okay with the Meta Human Control Rig? Let's find out. Create level sequences and add our characters. Wow! As you can see, it's working fine. There are no unusual issues, unlike other MetaHuman conversion tools on the market. I can say that this is an excellent tool. The way it's built, it looks great to me. If you're interested in this tool, you can visit their website, go and sign up for collaboration to get a free license for independent creators and freelancers. So what are you waiting for? Let's create a better world for all artists by liking this video and sharing it with others. Last but not least, I would like to shout out to Logan Wieson for his excellent course, Realistic 3D Character Creation, which can be found on the links in the description below. Thank you, everyone. I hope you learned something, and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Likes and comments. See you all in the following video. God bless us all.